What's up everyone, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a few quadratic equation word problems. Now these are the three examples we're going to go through, so let's get started. Alright, for the first question here, take a second to read through this. And what we should do is first draw out a rectangle. And now we're going to label this very carefully. We're told that the length of the rectangle is, so we have the phrase length, which is L. Is means equals. And now be careful with this part. The length is 6 feet less than 3 times the width, which allows us to say that L equals 3W minus 6. Now, be careful not to say 6 minus 3W. These switch because 6 feet less means minus 6 at the end. And we're also told here that the area of this rectangle is 144 square feet. So we'll write 144 feet with the exponent 2 here. So then we want to find the length and width of this rectangle. That's the actual question here, is we have to find the length and width. So how are we going to set this up? Well, the width is just w, and the length in terms of w is 3w minus 6. So just know in general the area of a rectangle is length times width. So if we replace everything, we're going to write the units at the end but the area is 144 square feet and that's equal to the length times the width but the length in terms of w is 3w minus 6 and the width is just w so we're just gonna replace L with our definition here 3w minus 6 so then all we have to do is distribute and we've got 144 equals 3w squared minus 6w when we distribute w to negative 6. So then we could just subtract 144 on both sides. And our resulting quadratic equation is 0 equals 3w squared minus 6w minus 144. So what we could do next is we could factor out a 3. And what we're going to have is 3 times w squared minus 2w and when we do 144 divided by 3 that's going to give us 48 so we're going to have minus 48 at the end and this is all equal to 0. We'll just make this a little bit neater. So here 3 is a constant it's just going to tag along but the quadratic on the inside we're looking for two numbers that have a product of negative 48 and a sum of negative 2. And the two numbers are going to be negative 8 and positive 6. So now we're not going to set 3 equal to 0 because that's a nonsensical statement. So never set the constant equal to 0. You can just kind of just cancel it out. And then we set w minus 8 and w plus 6 equal to 0. Now this equation gives us w equals 8. And the second equation gives us w equals negative 6. But because we're dealing with an actual rectangle where it has an actual length and width, we can't have negative values in our answer here. So when we want to complete this, the width of our rectangle is 8 feet, because those were the units from the beginning. And the length, as we were told, is 3 times w, so 3 times 8 minus 6. And remember, the units are feet. So if we work this out, this is going to give us 24 minus 6, which is 18. So the length is 18 feet. So this is our solution here. Now, if we want to check our answer to this question, we're just going to plug back in. Okay, so let's check our answer now. So to verify this, what we want to do is we're going to do area equals length, which is 18 feet, times width, which is 8 feet. And if you go ahead and multiply 18 times 8, that works out to 144. And feet times feet is feet squared. So the 144 square feet of area does check out in the question. So we could be sure here that this is the correct answer. OK, take a moment to read through this question. And you'll see that in this question, we're dealing with the right triangle. And one leg is going to be the short leg, and one leg is the long leg. So it's not isosceles. And we're told that the length of the shorter leg of the right triangle is 6 centimeters less than the length of the hypotenuse. So if we call the hypotenuse x, 
the short leg we could call x minus 6. And then we're also told here that the length of the longer leg is 3 centimeters less than the length of the hypotenuse. So this we could write as x minus 3. And we're going to write the units in at the end, so just remember centimeters. But the actual goal here, what we want to find in this question, is just the length of the sides of the right triangle. Well, in a right triangle, we know that the leg squared plus the leg squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. That's the Pythagorean theorem. So the way we're going to connect all of these, we're going to have x minus 6 squared plus x minus 3 squared is equal to the hypotenuse length x squared. So now all we have to do is just expand these and work them out. So for the first one, we're going to have x minus 6 times x minus 6. And then next, we're going to have x minus 3 times x minus 3. And this is all going to be equal to x squared. All right, so when we simplify this here, we just have to be a little bit careful with how we expand this. So for the first two binomials, we're going to have x squared. We're going to have minus 6x minus another 6x. And then the last thing to distribute, we have negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. And if you could do this quickly, then awesome. Uh, it's just x squared minus 6x plus 9. But if we show all the work we're distributing here, x times x, x times negative 3 is negative 3x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and then negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And this is equal to x squared. So then if we just combine like terms here, we have x squared plus x squared on the left side is going to make 2x squared. We have negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12. And then we have negative 12 plus another negative 6 when we combine negative 3x, negative 3x. So now we have negative 12x plus negative 6x. That's negative 18x. When we add all the x's, and now 36 plus 9 is 45. And this is equal to x squared. So to turn this into a simpler quadratic equation, we're just going to subtract x squared on both sides. The right side cancels, and we're left with x squared minus 18x plus 45 is equal to 0. And to go forward with this question now, we need two numbers that have a sum of negative 18 and a product of 45. And if you think about it carefully, the two numbers are negative 15 and negative 3. And when we solve for these here, well, the first one is going to give us x equals 15, this factor. And then the second one is going to give us roots of x equals 3. But we're going to have to reject x equals 3. And the reason why we have to reject it is if we were to plug 3 back in, so if x equals 3, the problem with this would be our hypotenuse would be 3, this side would be 0, and this side would be negative 3. But since we're dealing with the right triangle, that doesn't make sense. So we have to forget about this. So this means x equals 15 is our solution. And to find all three sides of the triangle, well, if we plug back in now, we have the hypotenuse is 15. 15 minus 3 is 12 when we plug in x equals 15 here. And if we do 15 minus 6, that tells us that the third side is 9. OK, so we'll just write our answers here in this set. So we have one side is 9, and the units, remember, are in centimeters. So one side is 9 centimeters. The other side, the second leg, we could say, is 12 centimeters. And the hypotenuse of this right triangle is 15 centimeters. And this is our final answer to this question. Now, one thing we could do here to check our work is just plug these back into the Pythagorean theorem. And we'll plug it in without the units. So if we take the leg, it's 9 centimeters, but we're just going to write 9. And we write 9 squared plus 12 squared. And we want to see, is that equal to the third side, the 15 centimeter size? We have 15 squared. When we work this out, we have 81 plus 144 is equal to 225. And if you do the addition, 
81 plus 144 is in fact 225. So this does check out. So the length of the three sides is 9 centimeters, 12 centimeters, and 15 centimeters. Okay, for this last question here, we're dealing with a situation involving a golf ball on the ground, and the ball is being hit upward, and it's forming a parabola. And the question here is, if this is the equation for the path of the ball, the height of the ball over time, when would the ball hit the ground again? Because we're assuming that the ball is hit from ground level. So we want to know when is the ball going to hit the ground again? Well, if a quadratic equation is modeling this scenario, then essentially what we're finding here is the roots of this equation. Because the roots represent the ground level, which is where the ball is going once it lands. So if we're starting off with the equation negative 16t squared plus 48t, and we have h equals this, we want to know when is the height equal to 0. Because remember, it's h equals. The y-axis in this case would be h, and the x-axis would be modeled with t. And the units for t are seconds. So this is like after some time has gone by, the ball goes up, but gravity pulls it back to the ground. And the height here, the units are in feet. So then when we want to solve this equation here, all we have to do is factor to find the roots. And what we could take out of this, we could take out a negative 16t. And what we're left with on the first part when we divide by negative 16t is just t. And if you do 48t divided by negative 16t, you're left with minus 3. And we set the rest equal to 0. So the first factor, negative 16t, is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0. Which makes sense, because at the beginning of the problem is when the ball is on the ground, and that's when the golfer is hitting the ball. And then if we set the second factor equal to 0, this is going to tell us exactly when the ball hits the ground again. And that's going to be at t equals 3. So when will the ball hit the ground again? The ball will hit the ground again 3 seconds after the golfer hits the ball. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on quadratic equation word problems. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you've got any requests, future topics you want me to cover, just leave them in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.